Hey guys, and welcome to another WoW video. And this is part two of our Shadow Barb quest chain series. If you are just starting this quest chain, definitely go to my description of this video. There will be a link to part one, which starts it all off. This particular video is going to be day 11 to day 21. And disregard this beginning part. I just needed it while I do my intro, but this is what you saw at the end of part one uh, when we got the toy. So this one's a pretty important one, actually, because this one is going to get you the pet as a reward. And after doing all of this, uh, I can safely tell you that the pet is actually a big need for the last 10 dailies. So you do get the pet for a reason. And yeah, that pet will be getting used. By the time I had finished the entire thing, I had accidentally leveled that pet to like 6 or something. So it does get used... A bit to where it will level. Okay, so for day 11, which is actually the same day you get the, the toy, so you will be able to start up a quest right after. And that will be a balanced diet. It's gonna send you out to either Aldum or Vale, depending on where the assaults are. And you'll just kill a bunch of animals for chunks of meat. And then you'll go back to the NPC and feed your larva. And that is actually how you end every single one of these quests for the stage of day 11 to day 21. Well, we'll say day 20 because 21 is technically when you receive your pet. Okay, so for the rest of your days for this phase of the quest chain, you will have six dailies, uh, all of which I will show you in this video. Okay, so for day 12, I got the meat alternatives. This one you get from the mented assaults in Vale, or you can get them from the Akir assaults in Aldum. And Apparently your larva does not like this, but yeah, quest's a quest, right? <laughs> so for this one, you will just gather 12 insectoid meat and then just feed them or feed it to your larva. Okay, so on day 13, I got the daily fetid fillet and this one is where you'll collect 12 corrupted flesh and it will be wherever your Black Empire assault happens to be. Okay, so for day 14, I got the quest A Bloody Treat, which I almost forgot to record, so you don't actually see me pick up the quest, but I did realize that I wasn't recording before I started actually killing for the quest. So you do see me bring up my quest page right here and there it is right in there. So this is to collect eight vial of purified anima and you will be going after Dokani Shade Walkers or Dokani Blood Shapers during the Mogu assaults in Vale. The coordinates for the general location here in Vale are 55-69. Okay, so for day 15, I got the quest Action Figures. Uh, another very easy one. You will find this one during the Amethyst invasion out in Aldum. So this is done in Aldum. And you'll just go out to that area and collect six of the figurines. The coordinates for the general area of this item will be 6729. 
Okay, so for day 16, I actually got a regular quest and a daily. We're only focusing that yellow quest. For me, that was Bug Buddies. So this one will be available when the Akira Salt is up in Aldum. And all you do is you just go out and collect five docile sandstone hatchlings. They are clickable. Okay, so from day 17 to day 20, I got the exact same quest. It was the daily more fetid fillets. So not going to show you that because we've seen it at the beginning. Uh, it's exactly the same as the regular fetid fillets. And uh, yeah, one thing I would like to mention while we're just kind of running the days through here is the super jelly quest that is one that you can get as well and i just never got it i guess i just never did this during the mantid assault or yeah but anyway if you get that one it is to go collect concentrated royal jelly and they will be found over in veil of eternal blossoms during the mantid assault and just to help you out a little more, since I never actually got this quest, I did a little research for you guys. Here is a picture that I grabbed off the internet, and this is what it'll look like for you guys. So if you do get this quest, this is what you're looking for out in Vale. Coordinates are roughly 1533. They'll be in the general area of that. And so now it is day 21. Day 21 is when you will be able to get your pet. And the pet is really cute and also going to be very useful for the next 10. Actually, without the pet, you wouldn't even be able to get the mount. So they definitely set it up to have a reason for it to exist. So basically, this pet is going to be part of a few pet battles. I know that is upsetting news for some of you non-pet battlers, but I have um, I have put some pretty good strategies for those that even if you have next to no pets, you will be able to accomplish, and that will be in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed, have fun getting your pet, and have an awesome day. Bye guys.